Welcome to St. Juliana Parish in Chicago for our virtual Mass of the Holy Trinity. The celebrant of our Mass is our pastor, Father James Wallace. Our lector is Christine Bolt. I'm Josh Plyer, and thank you for joining us. Our processional hymn is O oh God, Almighty Father. Here is our music director, Glenn DeCastro. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, going to be with you again on the celebration of the Most Holy Trinity, Sunday after Pentecost. So let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sins. You were sent to the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, The Feast of the Holy Trinity, one of my favorites of the year. 
God, we all know this from, from childhood, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. Of course, we have all the images to help with our understanding of this, the, the triangle, the shamrock, the, the Venn diagram, circle type thing. Which person of the, Holy, of the Trinity, the Holy Trinity, do you relate to often? The Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit? Now, I kind of go through waves in my own life throughout the year, uh, but also just in my own life in general. Uh, so for the longest time, I related first and foremost to Jesus, the Son. I remember that really started in, in high school, really probably even grade school. I remember talking to Jesus like I, I talked to a friend and, um, you know, sharing with him what was going on. You know, high school students go through crazy things and then in college as well. Uh, and then uh, the Father came more into, into my spiritual life, uh, really when I became a priest and then a pastor especially. Um, you know, what fathers have to do, fathers out there, you know, what it's like to provide for a family, to watch over your children, all the different aspects of fatherhood. I, I felt as I was growing into this, uh, myself relating to God the Father. And then the Holy Spirit. Maybe the Holy Spirit, one of the most uh, kind of misunderstood or hard to relate to uh, figures of, of the Trinity. Uh, the Holy Spirit, you don't really talk to the Holy Spirit, I guess that you would like you talk to the Father or to the Son. But the Holy Spirit is more of a presence. So when I pray and I'm just silent and more what's called a contemplative prayer, I'm just resting with God in the depths of my soul, I know that's the Holy Spirit. And when I feel love stirring up within me, again, I know the Holy Spirit is there. So maybe spend some time today, friends, thinking of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Make the sign of the cross. And uh, hopefully that our relationship to, to God in this threefold way will experience, uh, deepen our experience of him and ultimately give us a most fulfilled life. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker Peter of heaven and earth. earth of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We now lift our hearts to our Father in heaven, and we pray for the needs of the church and the world. For the church, the mystical body of Christ, and the outpouring of the Holy Trinity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the priests of the Archdiocese of Chicago, and for an increase in vocations in the priesthood and religious life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For all the faithful of St. Juliana Parish, especially our students and young people, and for all those who have lost employment, may the Holy Trinity guide and comfort them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our nation, for our president, our elected officials, our military personnel, our first responders, our doctors, and our nurses, may they be healthy, safe, and receive God's reward for their service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and suffering, and for those in hospitals and in nursing homes, may they know of the Lord's loving presence in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, particularly the deceased members of the St. Juliana Parish family, and all the intentions offered at the Masses this weekend, may our beloved dead rest in the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and gracious God, we ask that you be with us now in a special way and answer these prayers which we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave me thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bear into the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Amen. who art in heaven, Amen. hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join us for the spiritual act of communion prayer, which can be found online where you are watching this video. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity in undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us, friends, for our virtual Mass, and we hope to see you next Sunday for the celebration of Corpus Christi. Have a wonderful day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Thank you for joining us. Our recessional hymn is Now is the Time. Once again, our music director, Glenn DeCastro. Oh